about uh, some of the ghetto tourism that goes on over there. Wow, wow, South wow, Central wow. is getting gentrified as well, and I wanted to um, also support you guys over here that are being gentrified. The culture vulture wears juicy culture, but in her hair is a juicy culture she likes to call pop culture. AKA black culture that dates back to 1847, so pull out your AK-47 and tell this bitch Kardashian braids don't exist. Or should I say Kardashian? The hunk is all worried about being in season because she don't have the capacity to learn how to season. You have the adapty to call you a donkey and then just your donkey, but now you see her ass shifting now she's sliding down. But I think it's because she's trying to hide from the white supremacy she helped establish into society's beauty standards. Woo! But she's not racist. Her best friends, work and sisters, co-workers, aunts, next door neighbors, dogs, collar is black. And she's from the hood. What she really meant to say, well, she's from the hood of the car that kills our social justice warriors. She's a bitch that makes me itch. A culture vulture. A neoliberal. A racist, Zionist, white feminist bitch. Like, how the fuck you gonna say you support women, but then support their genocide? How the fuck you gonna be at the women's march all the way in D.C. causing traffic, but don't march for the sex trafficked women in D.C.? How the fuck you gonna walk around screaming, fuck rape culture, feel a pussy, feel a nipple, don't wear a culture with your nipple free that screams romanticization of the hypersexualization of a colonized group of women who are three times more likely to be raped than you. Because the violence against women acts or better phrase, act like you care about the violence against women, allows white men to invade their bodies like they did their land in 1492 as they spread their disease like uncultured bacteria, breaking down organisms to thrive and be cultured. You can some bleach in that bitch, but according to their Tumblr page, they'd rather drink it. But only as they add some ice to it. The type of ice that invades our black and brown hoods as they wear white hoods, but still gotta hide from the sea that comes in Snapchat geotag. But not hyped enough to keep it like that because they pussy footy nice went around to ruin their Louis Vu Vu. How the fuck you say his name, Shoot? So fuck your foot, I'm stuck my pussy, cause poverty is not a trend. So stop getting all hyped over that geotag, cause your dumb ass is in paramount. Everybody wants to be hood, see hood, live hood, rep hood, but still call the hood babies hood rats as they spill this table at the bottom of an alley with the sofa they claim we have so much in common with. You know, since apparently we're both abandoned, but it's all good in the hood. Aside from the socioeconomic problems that create cycles of poverty that can't be escaped to see, poverty was primarily caused by educational inequality, caused by poverty, but first it was caused by segregation and slavery, which were results of white supremacy. It just makes me want to drink some bleach, no ass of course, and I'll just watch you sip your coffee since you like your drink to match your soul, black and bitter. So come show your cuernos de Diablo Blanco is as vista cuernos de España de Rio do call colon edgy. But of course they're not cool enough to reside on our side of sound, so you push it off the edge to make room for another coffee shop paying a culture shop called gentrification. Culture vultures need the caffeine to fuel that search of more shit to colonize since our ancestors have already colonized the world and destroyed it as they cut the Aztec's tongue brainwashing them so they criticize their kin unable to speak Spanish, claiming that a Latino unable to speak Spanish is like a lion unable to roar. Unable to roar like sheep, they mean. They became so brainwashed into believing que no saben nada porque son niños. Por eso, solo los crioles están entre el mundo porque nunca han visto el mundo. Nunca han visto que son solo otra víctima de la colonización. This is nothing but colorism created by white supremacists. The Peninsulares. They took our land, they took our language, they took our culture, our sanity, our freedom, our innocence, and replaced it all with intergenerational trauma. No wonder black men have such high rates of depression and suicide. Depression is not white people shit, it's post colonial shit. Yeah. 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 Technically, it's white people shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. We once were a zygote, a single cell created by our mothers and fathers. We are our mothers, our fathers, and there's so no shit we're gonna inherit their distorted neurological levels. Our ancestors were traumatized as they conceived the spirate. Our ancestors were discombobulated when they were forced to convert from their preposterous polytheism to that one religion where that one girl was impregnated without being penetrated. Our ancestors were disoriented when they were suddenly unable to provide for themselves because their one resource was patented. Like how the fuck you go steal a fucking plant from an already suffering population and make it illegal for them to grow it. And then you get mad and try to build a fucking wall to keep them from trying to find a better life because you destroyed it. Fuck you, fuck your hypocrisy, and fuck your biocolonialism. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck colonialism in general, and fuck imperialism too, and industrialization. Fuck Zionism, fuck white supremacy, fuck mass incarceration and the war on drugs, fuck slavery, I mean yes. the prison industrial complex, fuck the patriarchy yeah. that created yeah. it, fuck poverty, fuck gentrification, KKKation and cultural genocide, and fuck Donald Trump! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hombres y mujeres negros deprimidos, tuyo estado mental y detrimentado, es el resultado de un trauma intergeneracional. Viva los niños en Siria, los inocentes que no tenían otra opción que nacer en un mundo de desesperación. Viva Jandra de la Intifada, viva los nativos de Hawaii y Centroamérica, viva todos los que han sido apoyados por los gringos, por lo que todo el mundo. ¡Viva! ¡Viva!